What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. 93, aka that white cracker 93, aka Zombie Boss 93, and of course, the best in the world in zombies. And I'm back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombies gameplay for you guys. And this is the next challenge on the map, Buried, which is the bank challenge. And this game took three and a half hours, and we got to round 36. And I'm with my boys, Dominican Kid. Quick scope your face, and my boy, you did see me, which is my boy Jordan, but his new account is, uh, what is it, like, strategy, something, strategy something, like some letters, so, uh, we did the bank challenge, and, you know, um, the bank challenge went hard, I can't even lie, so, once again, you know, Permanent perks play their roles. Um, perks, I had Jug, Mule Kick, Speed Call, and Double Tap. My weapons were A94, because A94 is like literally one of the best weapons up until like 30. Then it actually weakens. I had uh, Ray Gun and the Paralyzer. So the re regular Ray Gun, which I kind of like better for areas like this. So basically, um, I do show you guys each spot. Not of me, because everyone had preference. So basically, I was down here in the tunnel, and basically, it's still the bank. So the tunnel, there's like one spawn, as long as everyone moves back, there's, um, you know, if you move over here like me, and you buy ammo like, like you know, like you buy ammo like an idiot when the round starts, you're not supposed to, you gotta kind of keep a zombie, try to. Can we put the AN in the wrong spot? Like, we weren't thinking where to put the weapons, so... You know, we put the A in there, and then there's a spawn here. Um, if you um, if you camp on top, then they'll spawn from the window. The gunsmith, if it's open, they're closed. Or they'll come from the mule kick area down the stairs or whatever. So, basically, everyone has to move back. And, then, you know, um, three people are in the bank. I'm in the tunnel. Then later on, I kind of need help because it gets fucking really hectic. So, eventually... Linjoy or Dominican kid helped me out. And, um, Jordan was flopping. Because you can flop in the back, you know, where the key is, where there's a key location. You can just dolphin dive, and the window on top, they spawn, like, from the ground. So, you know, flopper is illegal. Like I mentioned in my round 37 saloon challenge, how Quickscope found that out. That when you flop, it, like, it can attack through walls. And your weapons can attack through walls. And I don't understand how, but it's awesome, though. So basically, you know, all kind of goes in mids. Awesome! And that's basically it. So, Jordan was flopping. Dominican Kid was watching the window. Lin Joe was watching the top, where they dropped down. You know, Huck Bear could drop down too. And I was watching the tunnel. And eventually, um, they were barely spawned from the top. So Jordan would flop anyway, and they would die regardless. And Dominican Kid felt threatened. He would move back and then shoot him on top real quick and then go back to the window. Because they were dying mostly from the window. From the flopper, because on the Cold Doom Wikipedia, I think, or I forgot where I found it, but when you flop, it's a one hit until round 20. Then after that, it's like two hits, and later on, three hits. But it does so much damage that when they come from the window and they survive, they manage to survive, Dominican Kid could just finish them off with the AN 94. That's basically what it was. Um, you'll see later on when Linjoy helps me out, you know, the, I eventually, we both get the millimeter scanner on the AN 94. But, um, everyone had A94, <laughs> I know it's always the same two weapons, A94, uh, Ray Gun or Ray Gun Mark II, and then, uh, people had RPG, War Machine, Mustang and Sally, you know, explosives, because, you know, permanent flopper, and, um, that's basically it, you know, unlimited claymores in the back, uh, I think Dominican Kid had Time Bomb, and everyone else had monkeys, like, I, I had monkeys and everyone else had monkeys. And we eventually got all seven perks, but as people start going down, they start losing them. So permanent tombstone plays its role. Permanent deadshot daiquiri for increased headshot damage plays its part. You know, and I mentioned everything about the permanent perks. I don't want to keep saying them. So make sure you look at the permanent upgrades. I call them all permanent perks, whatever. It's easier. So look at the permanent perks you want and get them. And I think I had permanent quick revive as well. So basically all I'm doing is as they spawn, I shoot them. And then eventually Linjo's like, well, I don't... He's like, how come we don't have the millimeter scanner for this challenge? I'm like, um, do you think it would help? And then he's like, yeah, just just get it. So 
So I get the millimeter scanner and then I can see how they're spawning underground. So it works more effectively than the regular red dot sight. And, you know, when Linjoy helps me out, I'll explain it now, but I'll explain it again when the time comes. When Linjoy helps me out, he, uh, he just shoots with AN or a ray gun or his Mustang Sally, I think he had. And the Mexican kid, same thing. Ray gun or ray gun mark 2. And then, I would slow, well, first of all, I would slow him down with the paralyzer. So then when whoever's shooting can kill him quickly because the paralyzer weakens them or kills them. So... Now, as you see, this goes hard. And I know this is pretty boring just watching this area. Because I don't watch the other areas. Because everyone has preference. So, I show you where they stand. Coming up. But that's basically it. Because the paralyzer you need down here. There's so much fucking zombies down there. It's not even funny. So, there's the key location. So, you could flop there. You know, we max out our banks. I see I have a shitload of points. Uh, Dominican kid was watching that left window. After the teller to withdraw, this is a teller to deposit. And then, um, so this challenge was very easy to max out your bank. Um, someone was watching the top and eventually helped me out. Um, I, I hope I show it after this. Um, yeah, you would flop there. Unlimited claymores, I would put, I would put my trample scene there. Um, everyone had head choppers all over the place. Trample scenes all over the place. Sonic, subsonic resonators, subsurface resonators all over the place. I show everything that's good, the window, the top, um, and then we had turbines last, because, you know, when you place the turbine down, it'll waste power, but if you save it last, and then use it when you have to, then you use its full potential, you use up everything, because the turbines weaken, so I show everything, you know, uh, that's pretty much it, so, um, I, I don't know about perks, I don't know what full perks everyone had for every challenge, but I'm assuming it's similar to the ones I get. So, you know, this round, you know, we kept a crawler. Because I'm showing you guys some stuff. So I would put my head chopper there. Someone will put their head chopper on top where they drop. And then another one right under it. So just in case they survive, they'll die no matter what. And then, you know, that's basically it. Oh, Lindroy took it. Yeah, he's like, you have to put it up there. So when they walk through the window, good night to their fucking head. So all credit goes off Pacino to the fucking resurrection. That's it. And then you saw you saw right there. Dominican kid put a trample scene there. So basically buildables do play their parts, but they break really quick when there's a certain amount of zombies going at it. Like using like when you use the tr uh, the buildables, it can kill a certain amount of zombies and then that's it, it'll break. Or if zombies attack it. And as you saw we didn't use PDWS for you. Um we had knuckles, you know, I don't know why I mentioned that, but it's good to know. I never mentioned but you know, grenades. But whatever. <laughs> uh, I pretty much mentioned everything, I think. Um, I forgot where we put the buildables in each challenge, so it's not really important. Basically, you kind of do need them once you really hit the 30s. The rounds get fucking hectic. And, um, that's basically it. Everyone maxed out their bank every challenge. Everyone had pretty much the same weapons every challenge because they're the most effective weapons. And I always double check if I have flopper, permanent flopper. And I always have permanent quick revive because I like to revive people. Because I don't want people dying completely. Because I would feel the same way. So I always try to become the reviver. Because in Black Ops 1, I used to always revive people. And then all my friends will call me the reviver. So that's basically what it is. Um, I think... I think I mentioned everything. I showed you guys the spots. The spot I do. Oh, I guess I could hold it out. This round is fucking long. Damn it. Where the fuck did I show all this? I put my subsonic there. Alright. Yeah, this round has to... Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> this round has to end pretty soon. I was trying to think where the fuck should I put this. It's like, what? It's going through the fucking ground. I don't know where I put this. Uh. Hmm. Any day now. Joey, any day. Alright, so basically, when you get to round 25 and you see everything, just skip it. 
I'm pretty sure you guys would, because I would. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I really gotta stop doing that. Uh. <sighs> Damn it. I really do not want to recommentate this. Oh my goodness. Alright. <sighs> Should be coming to an end pretty soon. You know, we always try to keep crawlers or a couple of zombies where they're walkers. Oh, we have Huckleberry, keep the crawler. Okay, we have to get our stuff, like, you know, new buildables or new weapons, if anything. You know, get perks back if you have less than, if they have less than four perks and etc. like that. So, you know, this, this round better come to an end, please, before I rage. We commentate this like any fucking day now. Come on. All right. If anything, just skip it. I have to put in the, in the text if I, if I remember because this this is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous right now. Um, hopefully it comes to an end. Oh my goodness, I hate when I do this. It's like, I want to show you guys stuff, but I forget that there's more. Like, just, you know, it's just a fucking crawler now. And stuff. Fuck. I have to remember to stop doing that. Alright, please, zombie, die already. This is wasting, like, what, three minutes already? Something like that? Alright, well, basically, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys the part where um, either Dominican Kid or Linjoy helps me out. So you can see the paralyzer at its finest. So... I don't know, any, any day now, any day now before the audience gets mad, you know, oh my goodness, oh man, any day, like I really don't want to recommentate this, I really don't, and the video is like 11 more minutes left, so there's no point, alright, I think it's coming to an end, I hope. Oh my goodness. Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna have to like watch the rounds. So this so this does not happen again. Oh Chris Jericho, so credit goes Chris Jericho, this will never happen again. So I guess I'll talk about Kingdom Hearts a little bit. So I guess you could I guess you could keep watching. So you know, for those of you who don't know, I I think I'm mentioned in this in every video now. Well not every video but like the challenges. Kingdom Hearts one point five remix is the remastered versions of Kingdom Hearts 1, but it's Final Mix, which was which was Japanese exclusive, because regular in North America, it was missing a couple features. So Final Mix, you can fight Zemnis now, which he's the Organization 13 leader. Um, you could fight, I think, um, who else? No, yeah, you fight Zemnis, and you get um, two new Keyblades. You get Diamond Dust, which is, uh, you have to defeat the Ice Titan at the Olympus Coliseum. In the gold cup, I think it is. And then, uh, Sephiroth's Keyblade, One Winged Angel. And you have to obviously defeat Sephiroth in the Platinum Cup. Or I think it's called Gold Match and Platinum Match, or Gold Cup and Platinum Cup. I don't know, it doesn't matter. All credit goes to the rock. It doesn't matter what your name is. And that's it. So, um, you know, I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play on it. It's a remake of Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories. And all cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts 358 divided by two days, which is like about three hours worth. And there's over a hundred trophies. So I won't lie, three, 358 divided by two days will be hard trophies because you have to watch everything. I think you have to read everything, or I think you can read them as well. But I think you have to watch everything.
like watch chapters one to this and then this to that. So that's gonna be the hard trophies. <laughs> but uh, oh, fine, finally, okay, go to the rock one more time. Finally, this round has come to a fucking end after like five six minutes. All right, so now Linjoy is here. So now you're gonna see everything in action. Well, I don't have millimeter scanner yet, but you're gonna see it. Oh no, no. wait, 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 I forgot, I forgot. Linjoy went to the bathroom. And the crawler died. So right now, I, I have to defend him. So. You know, I'm doing video by video, so I'm tired right now. <laughs> After this, I got uh, the mind challenge, and then I'm done. So I think Linjoy comes back. Yep. And we're good now. So here we go. The action. The carnage. You know, I skipped rounds, so I forgot what rounds I showed, but, you know. It's alright. So now you're seeing the Paralyzer plus AN together. Good combo, very good combo. And I should have thought about the Trample Steam, but then again, it's going to break too quickly, so it's alright. So as you see, when I have to recharge, you'll see in a little bit, I just switch out to my AN. So double AN go off. And, wow, I didn't get a millimeter scanner. Oh, I didn't get it this game. Oh my goodness, uh, the Mines Challenge, I definitely get it. Oh man, I thought I had it. What the fuck? Nah, I know I have it this game, what the? I don't know. Me and the Dominican kid were making fun of the zombies when they're slow motion, they're like... No, I'm dying. Yes, I do have the movement skin. Alright, I do, I do. Alright. They're like, no. I'm dead. And it, it was hilarious. Me and the Dominican kid could, could not stop laughing. It was hilarious. And I see the movement skin, you can see through stuff. Like, you can see where the zombies are spawning and stuff. It's pretty fucking badass. So I have to thank Linjoy and Solchino for telling me to use it. I would have never thought. So there's Jordan flopping. Forgot about Jordan. You know he uh he went hard. He, you would have you have to see how many kills this guy had. Like I, I think I showed uh like the stats at the end, but it was ridiculous. He had like almost the same amount of kills as I had, but he was flopping. It was hilarious. I got. I don't know what, what that was, but that was ridiculous. That You probably have to pause at that part, but that was ridiculous. I cannot believe the carnage. I think I show it right here. Bam, he's flopping, and they fucking die. Wow. And the carnage, because Lindra had to grab ammo for AN, so he brought the horde here, and the horde did not stand a chance. So we're good. <clears throat> Sorry. My throat hurts for talking for so fucking long, all these videos. But I just want to finish them. And I'll probably upload like one a night or two a night or something like that. I don't know. But I only have four challenges left to show. And this is the third one. So. Like of the ones I'm doing now. So I guess everything. I pretty much mentioned everything. And if not I'll probably put in the text or description for all videos. I don't know. I Pretty much I, I mentioned everything. So back to Kingdom Hearts. You know I will be doing a lot to play on it. So if you guys want to see some Kingdom Hearts 1.5 remix in North America. Then just um, stay tuned for Illegal Bosses and watch videos. And I will be doing Kingdom Hearts. A Let's Play on Kingdom Hearts. Um, I will be doing um, a Let's Play on Batman Arkham Origins. Um, I, which comes out October 25th. October 29th is WWE 2K14. So I'll go back to doing results. I'm just too lazy because nothing's really happening right now. Except Randy Orton as the WWE Champion. And it looks like the corporation is going to be reunited. You know, it's the McMahons. Mr. McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and Randy Orton now, and then Triple H gave Randy Orton a new Cadillac, and, you know, it's just, just a whole bunch of shit, you know, like, give Randy Orton a car like that, like, what? After all the putt kicks he did to everyone in the McMahon family? I'm in shock. But, um, basically that's it. So, um, hopefully I mentioned everything. So this video and commentary has come to an end. So, you know, well, not video, commentary first. So, yeah, once again, round 36, bank challenge, went hard. And that's basically it. <laughs> so, this commentary's come to an end, and then eventually this video's come to an end. So, this is Joey Jr. 93, aka You Know It Already, and show off. And stay tuned for more zombies. And I had the candy, but I hit Huckabar in accident. And he's gone. And I hope you guys are enjoying 
and liking all videos that try hard and myself do on illegal bosses and I didn't say this in a while but thank you thank you all for the recent support and you know please continue to support and we will continue to give you guys the best content as possible for the games that we do and I also will be doing maybe most likely I'll do Pokemon X and Y but I'll have to be on my 3DS because I don't have like the ROMs and stuff I'm too lazy to get that on my laptop so you'll have to see it from my DS 3DS and of course last but not least Call of Duty Ghost which most likely Tryhard is doing for multiplayer because there's no zombies and I don't know what that what those green sparks were but whatever alright once again this commentary is coming to an end eventually the video is coming to an end so this is Joey Junior 93 aka you know it already and show off and enjoy the rest of the video Don't think this changes things. 